What's going on guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 and another cross country car build. My vehicle today is the Honda Civic Type R. This was one of the cars added in the Playseat car pack that was added just a few days ago and I'm going to be seeing how it will do as a cross country car build. Now, this now has 914 PI which means it's only just got into S2 class, however that is because you can only use a stock engine for this car. There is no engine swaps that you can, no engine conversions that you can do for this car. Um, however, it now has 603 horsepower, which is quite a bit down on some cars, but you know, it's with the PI, I guess. 695 torque, weighs 1338 kilograms, and um, although I couldn't swap in a turbo, um, it already has a single, a single turbo. So, I wonder how the Honda Civic Type R will do around the cross country car, cross country car track. That is a bit of a mouthful. Alright, so here we are at the Redstone Cross Country Circuit, about to take the Honda Civic around the track. We have six laps to see how fast the car can go. The current leader is the Radical RXC Turbo with 53.921. I'm fairly sure this won't be um, going up against the Radical. Um, kind of the, the closest, um, more normal car, I suppose, uh, is probably the HSV GTSR, which is a 50... I can't see right now, 50... 5.455. Um, I, I mean, that's really our main goal. I think we're going to be a bit too down on power uh, and, you know, PI for the HSV. So, I mean, I have a feeling, unless this thing drives really, really nicely, we're probably going to be down the bottom of the leaderboard. However, we will see how it goes through these first corners. It's actually not too bad. It's driving fairly nice. We've gone quite wide out of there. Um, let's go over this jump, carry plenty of speed, but not hit the wing because, well, we don't want to hit the wing. We've seen what that can do to a lot of cars since almost every car has hit that wing so far. Um, okay, first lap, not too bad, actually. You know, it drives very nicely. Uh, the last, I think the slowest car's in the 58, which I believe is the Vauxhall Astra. So um, that is really, if we don't want to be the last place, uh, we want to get into the 58s. Um, I think it's a 58.9, so, um, you know, just getting into the 58s at all will hopefully be able to beat the Astra, um, and I think we will be able to do that, I mean we've done a 59-9 uh, already, and that was the starting lap from a standstill, so I'm pretty sure we can go fast, um, I think with this car we can maybe get into the, I think if we're lucky, we probably will be able to get into the 56s, I think anything further than that though, and the car just doesn't really have enough power, um, and you know it's the same sort of weight as if really car, as all the 100, uh, the 1000 horsepower cars, um, but yeah, this, this only has 600 horsepower, so um, I think getting into the 56s is going to be the main goal. I think we could get into fairly low 56s, but apart from that, I don't really think we're going to get any higher. That was actually a bit of a scruffy lap, not gone much quicker there. We need to get this first jump a little bit better, um, about 90 miles an hour just under through there. That's not too bad for this car. Uh, we've got rid of those barrels there, which is always a good thing, because they're a pain in the arse when they're there. I think I didn't even aim for them, I think I just got them out by accident, but that's that's, that's fine. Uh, this lap's going a lot better so far, let's get through that corner there. The bumps and jumps, the car seems to handle pretty well through them. Um, it's, it's actually a very stable car, it's a very nice car to drive. This is all-wheel drive, um, as you probably know, every car on this series gets converted to all-wheel drive to make it more fair. We have got a little bit out of position over there, which is not great, and we're a bit cockeyed over the jump. That's, that was not great over there. Um, we'll have to improve on that for the next lap. Um, oh, we're also very sideways, and then understeer. Okay, that's um, that's not great, I will be honest. We've got to the 58. I'm pretty sure that's beaten the Astra, so we're not going to be in last place, which is always a good thing. We get really pointed up in the air through that first jump, which is a bit hard, because I can't really see where we're going. Um, so that's great. We do seem to suffer from a bit of understeer. Um, obviously with it being all-wheel drive, that's kind of to be expected. Most cars haven't been too bad though. This isn't terrible, but you can just about feel the understeer in this Civic. Um, so that's a bit of a pain. We do get little bits of oversteer as well. I think on the most part though, it's the understeer that's slowing us down a little bit, you know, coupled with the um, with the lack of power. Let's see how much speed we can take over here. We're going to be very close to the wing. No, we're okay. It's actually not getting much air over that jump. Um, 
which is interesting. My computer's making digging noises. Shut up, I don't care about Acer Factory computer. Alright, I think that was a better lap. Where will we be now? Oh, low 58s. Okay, this, maybe we're not going to be getting into the 56s. I think it's 57s, I think, is going to be the, the thing for this car. I, I, I think the main problem is that we have a little bit of understeer. The bumps and jumps aren't too bad, however we've had cars that are better. Um, and the lack of power really, we just can't take the speed through the faster sections, like through that kind of on-road tunnel-y section there. We don't take anywhere near as much speed as, you know, the, uh, the HSV, the Mercedes 190, cars like that. We just don't take the speed. Um, and then coupled with the Coupled with the understeer, I'm going to try to take as much speed as I can through here. Oh god, we're flying through the air. That was ridiculously close to the wing there. Um, I never know what line to take through that jump. To be honest, that jump is a little bit of a silly one because you just kind of have to pray that you're doing a decent line through it. This has been a faster lap, I think. We may. Oh, we have got into the 56s. Okay, 56 7. So that's not too bad. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could get into the. Oh god, that's a lot of speed through that corner. <laughs> um. I was thinking maybe we could get into the low 56s, I think that's going to be a bit too much, especially since we've just overrun it through that corner. I'm trying to push it up, yep, there we go, that's that's going to do it. Um, yeah, uh, like I was saying, I pushed it quite a lot on that, um, on that previous lap with the 56.7, I don't think we're really going to get much faster than that, it wasn't great over that kind of annoying jump that we're going to come up to in a second. Um, but no car is, you know, it's really hard to get a perfect line through there. There isn't really a perfect line at all. Um, you just kind of got to go down here, kind of get to a decent speed, around 100 I think. Jump over and see where you go, that was a bit better that time actually. We're going to be nowhere near um, beating our time though because we crashed into the building earlier on. Um, and yeah, the Civic. The Civic finishes its run. Uh, last run there, not very good at all. Um, but yeah, altogether, it wasn't too bad. It really wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, let's do some celebratory all wheel drive donuts there. Um, I don't really know what to say to be honest. It was. The Civic was alright. The Civic was okay. We suffered from a little bit of understeer at points, but it wasn't anything too bad. The main reason though, I think that we don't go that quick, I mean it's not terrible, but we don't go that quick is because of um, it's because of the lack of power, we just don't have the power, only 600 horsepower, it's not really enough anyway, the lap time a 56.790 will put the car into 11th place, so we are quite a way down the leaderboard actually um, we beat the Rolls Royce Dawn, the Jeep CJ5 Renegade, the Vauxhall Astro VXR have we're down to everything else, you know, the Nissan Silvia KS, the Jaguar F-Pace, the BMW i8. We're just, we're just a little bit down because I think we're down on power quite a lot with those other cars and we weigh pretty much the same. So, um, yeah, I mean, over the jumps and the bumps, it's actually not too bad. It's just that power that I think is losing us out a little bit. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. Comment what other cars you'd like to see cross-country car builds of Forza Horizon 3. And I will see you guys in the next video.